18 years, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Today was the fifth straight day with high temperatures above 80. That is the longest stretch of 80s so far this summer, and we have another one on the way. Let's take a look at your seven day temperature trend. Highs tomorrow will be in the 80s to around 90 and then turning quite a bit cooler for Wednesday and Thursday. Highs will only be in the 70s. Some more 80s return as we move into the weekend and then even a bigger batch of cool weather will push in for next Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Right now we are looking at 80s across most of the viewing area, but temperatures range from the 70s near Lake Michigan to 91 in Wapaka. That is the first 90 degree reading of the summer here in the NBC 26 viewing area. We're flirting with 90 in Watoma. It's currently 87 degrees in Berlin. We're looking at 85 in Fond du Lac, 85 in Oshkosh, and it's 84 degrees in Krivitz. We're on the eastern side of a very hot and humid air mass. We've got heat advisories and warnings from far western Wisconsin through Minnesota back into South Dakota and Nebraska. Take a look at the warm air. 91 degrees right now in the Twin Cities, 92 in Des Moines. It is 103 degrees in Pierce, South Dakota. We have not seen heat like that so far this summer this far north. All right, along with the warm and hot temperatures across the state of Wisconsin, we have dry weather. Today is now the sixth consecutive dry day. That is the longest stretch of dry weather since September, and that stretch of dry weather will come to an end tomorrow. And here's the reason why. We've got lots of sunshine and dry weather across Wisconsin right now, but our next weather maker is quickly approaching from the north and west. It's a cold front now moving into central North Dakota. Out ahead of that cold front this evening, we have a line of severe thunderstorms now rapidly developing west of Bismarck, where we have severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings in place right now. That activity is expected to move off towards the east throughout the night. We may see some southern development as we head past midnight into the early morning hours. Those thunderstorms as they move east will have a tendency to weaken just a bit, but there could be a few thunderstorms that survive into Wisconsin as we head into tomorrow morning. So we'll have to watch that. Then it looks like a break with sun and clouds. And then as the cold front moves through, we'll have another chance for some thunderstorms. And those are the thunderstorms that we'll have to watch. If they do develop, there is some question marks about that. If they do develop, then we could be looking at the threat of some severe weather across most of the viewing area as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Of course, when and where thunderstorms develop and how much clouds they leave around the area will have a major role in how warm we get. Right now, I'm forecasting highs in the upper 80s to around 90. So tonight, warm and muggy, a chance for a thunderstorm late. And I'm talking about towards sunrise upper 60s. Tomorrow, sun and clouds, a chance for some thunderstorms, windy and humid. Highs will be in the upper 80s as we head into Wednesday, much cooler and breezy mid 70s, upper 70s on Thursday, lower 80s on Friday, dry weather returns. Chance for some thunderstorms by the weekend ahead of a cold front and then turning cooler again as we head into next week with highs only in the 70s, below normal. So this muggy weather won't last that long for the people who don't who like the cooler summer weather. That's right. If you're enjoying this overall cooler summer, you're in luck. The cooler weather arrives once again on Wednesday. And this is the first real muggy day that we've had. Uh, for most of the viewing area, we have had temperatures warmer across the Fox Valley than what we're seeing today. But west of the Fox Valley, we have not seen temperatures this warm so 